Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. Today we are giving an overview of packages. We will take a look at what it looks like from the customer's point of view. We will add the package to our basket and look at the checkout flow. We will then look at the same package from the Tabex dashboard. This will allow you to understand what a package is and also what kind of options you have. We already have tutorials on basic package creation and content delivery and also some more advanced examples like packages where you can pay the difference or for example, packages that are only visible to customers that already own a specific package. So let's first of all, start with what is a package. The packages are the actual items or things that are listed on your web store. In this case, we can see five packages and these are part of the bundles category. We are looking at the Tabax demo store. The way things look and behave might be slightly different on your end. This of course depends on what kind of theme you're using and also what kind of store type you're running. Tabex can be integrated into many different games and platforms. There are several different ways of configuring your Tabex store to suit those needs and platforms best. What I will be demonstrating today is the general flow. This flow will be the same for most of the games and platforms that we currently support. So let's take a look at this medium bundle 30 days. We can click on the package. This will give us the full package information. First, we have the package title. This already clearly indicates that this package is only active for a specific time frame. In this case, 30 days. We then have the price. In this case, this is a free to claim package. And we have the option to add the package directly to our cart or gift it to a different user or player. We then have a clear product description. The description clearly states what this package contains. In this example, there is a manual step required to claim the package in game. If there are any manual steps required after the package has been claimed or purchased, first of all, make sure this is clearly stated inside of the package description and also clearly explain those steps inside of your package description. This ensures that the customer knows exactly what they're getting once the package has been claimed or purchased. And they also know exactly what is expected from them if manual steps are indeed required. And once again, it tells us the rank lasts for 30 days it also tells us what the rank includes. We can then add the package to our basket. This package has a custom variable. This allows you to give the customer a choice. In this case, we can choose what kind of helmet we would like to receive. And optionally, it's also possible to have different prices for each item. As you can see demonstrated here with the diamond helmet. Just to demonstrate, if I add another bundle to my basket, in this case, a bundle or package without a custom variable, you can see it just automatically gets added to the basket. In the top right, you can see I'm already logged in. Depending on what kind of store type you're using, you will be asked to log in in different ways. For example, Discord or Steam, or in this case, our Minecraft username. From the top right, we can also open our basket again. Here we get a final overview of what and how many we will be receiving. We can also change these numbers if we want to. Let's proceed to payment. Here we get the option to get a larger booster and also get this at a discounted price. This is optionally and you can configure this from your dashboard. Let's continue to payment. Here we can then choose our payment method. At the top, we will see the most popular payment method depending on our location. If you don't see the payment method you're looking for, you can search here. We offer many different payment methods, ensuring that almost anybody can make a payment on your web store, no matter where they are. And also depending on what kind of payment method you're using, the information that is being asked will be different. You will see if I remove this package and we only keep the free package, if we now proceed to payment, we still get the upselling option. I'm going to continue to payment, but as you can see, we do not have to choose a payment method. So let's take a look at this same package on Tabex. From our dashboard, we can go to our packages. As you can see, I have quite a few packages. Here is that package that we are looking for. Let's click on the three dots and then click on edit. And here you can see that information that we just saw on our web store. With our formatting options and things we can insert at the top, we then have our category. We have our pricing and several different options to make this a more advanced package. Take a look at the video description. Here I will link to a basic package creation tutorial and also to a more advanced tutorial demonstrating some more advanced package types and also showing how to configure them. Then at the bottom, we have our deliverables. In this case, we have game server commands. We can add different deliverables on the same package. For example, we can do a Discord action alongside running server commands. You can, of course, deliver multiple of the same type. For example, running multiple actions, or for example, as you can see here, running multiple commands. We can also dictate when these actions happen. For example, when the package is purchased, 
we want to add the player to a VIP group that already has all the permissions configured the way we want to. And then when the package is removed, which is after one month, the player gets removed from the group, losing all the permissions that came with being in that group. This is usually the better way of giving players specific permissions. If you need more help with deliverables, you can click on help and for each different type of deliverable, it will send you to the proper documentation. A lot of times, including a dedicated tutorial created by me. If you want to create more packages in the future, you can either create a new package, but there is a big chance you could just use a existing package and make slight changes. We can clone the package. This will give us the exact same package as we cloned. We can now make the changes that we want and save this as a completely new package. In my case, I'm going to change 30 to 15 days and then also represent that over here for when the package should be removed from the customer. This is all I'm going to change. Let's click on create. So now we have our two packages. I quickly wanted to demonstrate cloning, but also reordering. You can go to these three lines on the left, just hold and click, and this allows you to reorder your packages. You can also drag your packages across to other categories. It's also possible to clone complete categories. Let's say you're running a Europe server and a USA server. There are several ways of approaching this, but you could, for example, create two categories, one for Europe, one for USA, have exactly the same packages, but have them connected to different servers. This way, the customer can choose what package or server suits them best. If you want to test the package delivery, we can make a test payment instead of going through the whole checkout on our web store. Let's go to payments and then payments again. Here we can create a payment, fill in our username. Optionally, we can fill in the customer's email address, set the price of the package, and then we can select what package we want to give to this customer. Let's select our bundle. Let's do the 30 days, let it generate, set our quantity. In this case, we also have to choose what variable. So let's give the iron helmet and then let's click on create. We can then click on view. Scrolling down, we can see the commands and see the status. Once this shows that the commands has properly processed, we can then check on our server if everything has worked as expected. I hope this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.